all staying healthy and safe. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Today, I'll be discussing about how to add total row in Excel. In order to add total row, first you'll need to create a table. We can create a table by highlighting the data and then clicking on insert and then clicking on table and then clicking OK. So now we have a table created over here. Also, there's a shortcut way to create table both in Excel uh, for Mac as well as for Windows. In order to create table, here are your shortcut keys for both Mac and Windows. So for Mac, it's this Clover key plus T or Command key plus T. Uh, the Command and Clover is written in the same key for Mac. And for Windows, you can type um, or press Control plus T together so that you can um, create table. So since I have uh, I'm using Mac what I'll do is I'll press um, clover key plus T or command key plus T if you click uh, the shortcut keys here command and T uh, while your cell is highlighted uh, outside of the data it will create table outside of the data as well so in order to um, create the table for the data you'll need to select any cell in the data and then uh, you will need to press command and T Excel will automatically highlight the data and then you can click on OK so now this is how you can uh, create table in shortcut way so after the table is created you'll need to click on the this total row under table tab so if you click on this total row the total automatically shows at the bottom of the table and also Excel will automatically add the total for the farthest right column which is column C here so this is our total value over here for column C also there are several other options that you can select for example if I select average here it will give me average if I select count it will give me total count which is 12 here so I'll just leave it as sum here and in order for adding total for column B what you'll need to do is click on cells B14 and click on this drop down menu and then click on sum here so now you have total for column B as well for example this the adding total row is very beneficial in a way because if you only want to select uh, the first three months of the year Jan February and uh, March what will happen is the total is dynamically changed for just these three months as well so this is um, adding total row is very helpful in making the totals dynamic so um, this is a very useful tool um, also um, we can select standard deviation max min there are um, additional functions as well uh, which you can see here at the very button bottom, bottom. Um, so this is 
how you can add total row in Excel. Hope this video helps you all. If this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up as well as please support my channel by subscribing to my channel. Thank you all so very much. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.